As you begin this long journey of recovery, your city is with you. Your commonwealth is with you. Your country is with you. We will all be with you as you learn to stand and walk and, yes, run again. Of that, I have no doubt you will run again. Following an address at the Interfaith Service at the Cathedral of the Holy Cross Thursday, the President drew crowds to the area surrounding Massachusetts General Hospital. Heavy security brought the President in and kept the area secure while he met with 11 marathon bombing patients who were still admitted in the hospital as of Thursday. Total morale support and as if somebody cares, I think it would be inspiring to a lot of people just to know that he cared enough to take the time on this trip to do something important, which is what he's doing. I think that they will know that the country is behind them and that their president is here, so obviously everyone's caring, everyone's thinking about him, everyone's praying. I think it'll be a big boost. You know, a lot of these people got maimed, and, you know, it's almost, you know, they're, it's like a war zone. So, uh, you know, he is the commander-in-chief, and I think, uh, I think it's a, a very good thing that he did. I think it's, you know, it's important that, you know, he recognized the, uh, what the uh, people that are injured in there are going through. And it's a good time for him to come in and let, uh, let them know that, you know, it's got people, all the whole country behind them. The president spent more than an hour meeting with victims and their families here at Massachusetts General Hospital, bringing the comfort, really, of the whole country into their bedside. Everybody we spoke to here on the streets, very happy the president was in town, as you heard. He departs tonight, the healing process here in Boston just beginning. At Mass General, Mike Neff for the Boston University News Service.